this is an empowering thing, you know? Like, it's that's why they keep this fucking information away from us, because they want us in fear, they want us suffering, they want us to look up to them and look to them for the answers. And I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I honor now. Something about the race of the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Zana. So, the law of mentalism, this is part two. I feel like part one was kind of surface level, so I wanted to make a part two, but I will link part one down below because I do explain what the law actually states and what it means. So, for this video, I want to go a little bit deeper and talk about how science today has actually proved that this law, this ancient teaching, is true, it is a fact, and then what that actually means for us, you know, like what we can actually do, what that confirms and clarifies about who we are and why we're here. So the law of mentalism, which states that the mind is all and the universe is mental. Now, science have literally proven that our minds are powerful and can create our reality because they did an experiment, which was the study of light. And just to kind of cut the whole long story short because you should definitely watch the experiment for yourself because it's so so powerful and they fully break down exactly what they're doing and exactly what it explains so I will link that down below too in the description box but to sum it all up they basically discover that when they study light through the act of observing it by putting a camera there to observe it the light becomes whatever it is that they intended for it to become. So whether light forms as a wave or a particle, through them observing it, it will become either one, just through their intent of what they expect it to be. So this literally shows that through the mind, through the eye, observing something, and obviously this world runs on frequency, it runs on light. Without light we would not exist, we would not be able to be here, you know? So through the act of observing it, through the focus and intent behind the observation, that is what determined the outcome, that is what created the physical matter. And this is where they get the idea that your mind creates your reality because it, they've literally proven and discovered that through your your mind through your focus on something on a physical object that's what makes it real that's what brings it into existence and when you're not focusing on it it doesn't exist it's not there anymore so these science experiments that are more recent are confirming things that have been taught for centuries and centuries like ancient teachings have already said this and explained it a lot of it is in metaphor and that's why we've kind of been conditioned and brainwashed to take things literally when they're metaphors for other things so these teachings in the Kabbalion and many many other ancient texts and hieroglyphs and things like that are showing us exactly what we are exactly why we came here exactly what this reality is and the fact that we do create our own reality and knowing that the all the mind is all knowing that the all is everything in existence and that the mind is that when you really internalize what that means it's literally telling you that you are god is literally telling you that you are the universe, that it's not something that's separate, that you are a part of it and it is a part of you. And that's how powerful we are. Because if the mind is all that there is, and you are mind, like you have a mind, you are consciousness, then that means that you create everything that's around you. And that means that us as a collective all contribute to the fractal code and we all create this entire reality into what it is, you know? we just by us buying into and believing the things that we're fed in the news and the things that we're told, that makes it real. Just by us believing it because our minds create our reality and our intent creates our reality. So just purely through our belief is what we create everything and our world. Our world. And of course certain things happen that may be bad or maybe something that you don't want to happen but everything happens to teach us something we are not these vessels you know like outside of this vessel you are not human you are pure consciousness it's just data it's infinite information infinite data it's consciousness 
that is what we all are that is what we're all of part of and then we bring down a fractal of that consciousness into a vessel and we experience life through a vessel but this isn't everything because we know that we're only here for a short amount of time so we know that this is not what we are this is not who we are because we understand that our vessel decays you know it goes back into nature it goes into the ground or we burn it and it becomes ash like it still goes back into the ground you know it becomes part of nature so we are not our vessels and then when you know that it's like okay so what are we well we know that we're consciousness we know that this world runs on magnetic frequency we know that it's all about energy and that is what consciousness is and that's literally why it's the study of meta physics because meta means beyond and it's literally beyond the physical it's the study of things that are beyond the physical realm which is where we come from you know this is just one plane of existence this is just one reality and when you understand that what we are is far greater than this reality then the fear starts to release because you realize that this is nothing you know this is just child's play this is just one experience inside one vessel you know like you could have been here many many times over in different vessels as different people with different family members you know what i'm saying so this world is just so much more powerful and we are so much more powerful than we are told and than we are led to believe which of course is for an agenda but when you research these laws and you understand how the universe actually works which is you it's literally how you work how you can take control of your life how you can use magic which is just the mind magic is the mind when you use that you can create whatever you want you know and it releases all of these programmings that we've been told about all of these things, about aliens being weird, about magic being evil, about all of these things being wishy-washy and not real or stupid or crazy or demonic, you know? But the word for demon literally is genius in Greek. When you look at the meanings behind certain words, you realise that it's not what they've led us to believe because demon literally means genius because it's literally pure information, which is what we are. It's consciousness. It's God. It's all the same thing, you know? So yeah, it's not like some wishy-washy weird thing and it's not something of like, oh, your mind can create your reality, blah de blah blah let's manifest our ex and manifest all this shit. Like, it's not dumb shit like that you know that's still a part of the distraction but what it really is saying to you is that you are god the thing that we call god the thing that people created as god is you is what we all are because we're all a part of consciousness so it's inside of you and it's not something that's separate and it's not something that's judging you in the sky that's going to punish you for your sins no it's something that you've agreed to because this is your experience this is an empowering thing you know like it's that's why they keep this fucking information away from us because they want us in fear they want us suffering they want us to look up to them and look to them for the answers and think that they rule everything and that they make all the decisions and they decide everything you know thinking that we need them that we need a government that we need somebody to rule over us and tell us what's right and what's wrong and what we can do and what we can't when we're all god we're all a part of god frequency we're all god consciousness that is what this world is and that's so powerful and that means that you can do whatever you want because you have to set your mind to it and of course certain things won't happen for you because this is a part of the agreement of you coming here you know you've already agreed to the experience that you're going to have to learn certain lessons so we can't go manifesting exes that are not supposed to be in our lives because they're not going to come back to you because they're not supposed to be in your life you know you can't go against that because it's something that you've already agreed to. But what you can do is open to and allow the things that are supposed to be yours to enter easily without having that resistance because of fear and self-doubt, you know? That's what holds us back. It's just the lower aspects of our mind, you know, the lower frequencies. But of course we have to feel them you can't not feel them because that's a part of the experience. We feel the full range, but it is just about being able to take control of it, you know, and put your intent and your focus on things that you do want instead of getting trapped and stuck in the fear. And obviously the fear is fucking everywhere. You know, they instill that in us from birth. So it is everywhere and it is a process. But once you realise that the mind creates everything and that you are the all, you are a part of it, it is you, it is inside of you and the same amount of power and magic and energy 
is inside of you as everybody else literally so you can create whatever you want you just need to believe in yourself you need to believe in your power and in your knowing and in the fact that you are god and in the fact that you can do whatever you want to you just need to set your mind to it it's about the mind it's about a mindset shift and empowering yourself you know and also realizing that you came here for a reason you know you didn't come here to just stay suffering forever you came here to fulfill a mission so once you tap into this power of okay anything is possible then you'll realize what your purpose is because oftentimes we're shutting ourselves off from it because we're in so much fear and so much self-doubt and lack of self-esteem but when you believe and know that you can literally do and create and be anything that you choose it just opens up your mind like we're opening up your mind to the possibilities because there's infinite possibilities here and our minds are literally computers you know, like humans made computers based on the same structure of a human mind. That's exactly what it is. So once you understand all of these things and like research even further of the mind and of consciousness and of electromagnetic frequency and energy and how everything runs on energy, once you understand all of these things, like it literally frees up your life, you know, it releases the fear. So that's why I do the Mind Cleared series, because it is about clearing your mind of all of the bullshit that isn't you, all of the bullshit that's been piled on us that isn't real, you know? So that's why I kind of try to go into different fear-based beliefs and that kind of thing and emotions and things that hold us back from our true potential, because your real potential is pure consciousness. Pure consciousness is love, but it's not the human level of love, it's literally like god level like we couldn't even comprehend what that means in a human experience because we have the five senses we have the vessel you know and we have the programming so you couldn't even understand the level of love and the level of like frequency that pure consciousness is you know but yet that is you that is where you come from that is what you are you know and this is about manifesting our natural abundance because we are pure consciousness, we are love. So we're here to manifest that here on earth and experience this life through connecting with each other and learning different types of lessons, you know, having different experiences. But we don't have to do it through suffering anymore because now we know that we are God. Now we know that we are way more powerful than what this handful of people can do. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave this there because I feel like I'm rambling and I'm just going to end up going in circles. But I am going to make more videos, of course, on all of this and I'm going to go into all of the laws as well. And also, there's going to be more mind cleared videos coming up to help you like really clear your mind of all of the fears and all of the self-doubt, which I am still struggling with. But like even when you know this knowledge, you still struggle with it because it's been programmed into us so much. So I'm going to do a video on how to actually reprogram ourselves because I'm really learning this lesson of how to do it, you know, and it's powerful shit. So thank you so much for watching. All of my music, social media will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me. Don't if he a yes man